what's up y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i made this christmas decor if you want to see how i did it keep on watching and this is everything you're going to need for the first project And I just got a wrapping paper that would work best for my tree and the theme that I'm going for this year. And when it comes to these boxes, I just found all the empty boxes in the house. We usually keep a lot of empty boxes because when it's time to move, it's easier to put everything back so they are moved safely. And you're just going to go ahead and wrap them like you're wrapping any Christmas gifts. You didn't cut the wrapping paper long enough. You can always just add a little piece to it. It doesn't have to be perfect. For this next step, you're going to measure out the yarn so it fits perfectly all the way around. You're going to make a knot just like this and you're going to cut it so it looks neat. And then just readjust it all the way around to where you want it right in the center. Then you're going to take the yarn and make sure that it matches all the way to the top it'll be the same length on both sides so it's even then you're going to feed it through just the way i'm doing like that you're gonna go ahead and make a knot in bunny ears And then just readjust the bow to how you want it to be. If you want it smaller, way bigger, however. And for this little one, it'll be the same thing. Make sure it's the same length all the way to the top for the yarn. And then you're just gonna twist it and take it to the sides just the way I did it right there. And you're going to feed it through again the way we did on the bigger one. You're going to do the same thing right here with the knot and the bunny ears. And then just adjust your bow to however you want it. Now for our next project, we're going to be making Christmas stockings and this is everything you're going to need. For the sweater, I just got a cheap one that I found. It's going to be better to have a Christmas stocking already so you can use that as your guide when it comes to cutting but if you want to freehand it you can. A 
I got this sweater to use it for the buttons, but if you want to get buttons, you don't need the whole sweater, but I did end up using that sweater for the bow. I found this tree branch in my backyard and just thought it would be cool and fit the socks really well. It's really fragile, so it started falling apart. And you are gonna need a sewing machine or you can do it by hand or just use a hot glue gun. This is the crafting thread that I'm gonna use for the buttons. But if you don't have that, you can just use whatever cotton you have laying around in the house. And this is fabric tape that I used for the top part of the stocking. And these are the hooks I'm gonna use they're just easier for the walls. I don't have to make holes in the walls just for temporary decorations. So yeah, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pin the sock down and just place it to wherever you want it. I think it's easier right by the waist so then it's already an open section and it's already sewn in and you don't have to do the most. You want to leave some space when you're cutting so whenever you sew it's not so small. Once you're done cutting you're going to take these pins off and make sure you put them right back onto that little pin cushion or wherever you're going to put them just so they're not laying around, you don't step on them by mistake. You're gonna turn it inside out and that's how we're gonna sew it. We're gonna sew it inside out and then we're gonna turn it back around once we are done sewing. So I pinned it all the way around, all the way to the top. And now we're just gonna stitch following those pins. Cut off the arm, and that's gonna be what's gonna make up the top part of the stocking. Now you're gonna cut one side of the arm, and then once you flip it open, I'm going to have to make it all balanced just because the bottom part of this arm where the wrist is is wider and i need to make sure that it fits just how i want it on the stocking then you're just going to play around with it to see how thick you want it if you want it more curved or however you want to put it on there Once you're done doing that, we're going to pin the one side that we're going to stitch and make sure it's inside out. So when you do turn it the other way around, it's going to look just like this. Then just go ahead and stitch it. And now that you're done stitching, you're just going to feed the top part that we just made through the stocking. For this part, you're going to have to make sure 
the top part that we just made for the stocking is higher than the stocking itself because what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it into the stocking. And now you're gonna pull out the fabric tape and we're gonna use that to put all the way around this little piece that's sitting on top of the stocking and then it's gonna fold into the stocking. It's gonna be easier for you guys to watch it than me to explain it. just peeling the paper off. And now you're gonna fold it into the stocking and the tape should be able to attach on the other side. And this is the part you can also use a hot glue gun for. Either one works, just all your preference. Now just go ahead and apply some pressure so it helps it stick. Then you're going to take the wrist part and you're going to cut that in half and that's what we're going to use to hang it. And I just went ahead and hand stitched this part. For this step, if you already have buttons, you can go ahead and skip it. I'm just cutting the buttons off and those are the ones I'm going to use. And now you're going to go ahead and place the buttons on the stocking. You can either put it on the middle or you can put it on the side. I decided to put it on the side. I just like it better that way. And to complete the stocking, I went ahead and made a bow out of the sweater that I took the buttons from. If you already have a bow and you want to use that, you can. Or if you just like it the way it is, you can also just leave it like that. It's all up to you. Go ahead and grab your tape or the hot glue gun and you're going to use that to put the bow on there. And now that I figured out where I'm going to be placing my stockings, I'm gonna make a little scratch on the wall to where I want the hook to go. And that hook's gonna hold this tree branch. On these broken pieces you see right here is where I'm gonna be hanging the stockings. And this here is what they look like in the end. Just a little piece of advice, you might wanna take thumb tags and stick them in the inside of the stocking so they hold onto the wall a lot better these just seemed a little bit heavy but if you enjoyed watching this video go ahead and like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time